Let me ask you guys a question real quick. How many of you guys have stopped working out because you got an injury, big or small? How do you stay motivated if you're injured? And how do you keep training even if the doctor or physio is telling you that you shouldn't? In this video, I'm gonna go over four of the top tips to help you train through any injury. And you should take it from a person that's injured pretty much every major joint on their body. Randomly, four of my clients in less than two weeks all called me up telling me that they've sprained their ankle or broke a bone in their foot. Now, super coincidental, but they all asked me, can I still train or is there other things that we can do? And the answer is yes. Tip number one, train the opposite. If you hurt upstairs, train downstairs. If you hurt downstairs, train upstairs. When I injured my shoulders, I took that as an opportunity to spend a lot more time on my legs. And when I injured my hips, I was just like, I really want some rounder shoulders. So I spend a little bit extra time playing on shaping and designing my upper body. Number two is stretching. Stretching is one of those things that we all say that we need to do more of. It's stretching, foam rolling, triggering. It's one of those things that we say that we will do later on or we'll do at the end of the session but never get to it. Instead of training that body part, instead of doing that sport, instead of doing what you normally do in that time, use that time to stretch, use that time to trigger, use that time to foam roll. And we start doing this now, maybe one, they might prevent the reason why you got injured in the first place and two it may actually become routine for you in the future for your other programs number three is taking the time to work on the muscular imbalances and weaknesses now we all know this exercises we should be doing if it's isolated glute work if it's even trainer calves if it's shoulder stabilization stuff rehab stuff some overhead stabilization work or even if it's core and we know we always give that stuff the back seat so this is a good time to actually start working on those exercises doing what we know we're supposed to be doing adding an extra few core workouts instead of extra bicep workouts and um your body's going to thank you for it so much more in the future and these things might even become better bases for your future programming and last and final tip number four is my little tip if you're injured is you guys some people may not be happy with my answer this one but Use machines. Machines are actually really good when you're injured. So let's just say you don't want to decrease the size of your quads, but you got bad hips or you tore something and you can't train legs, then you can always do leg extensions. Or when I have an arm in a sling, I took advantage of Smith machines for my squats and my leg exercises or using leg presses. There's a lot of machines, such as bodybuilding based machines, where you can hit all your major body parts without irritating a joint that you could have injured during a sport. So pretty much my point is that even though you're not injured, it does not mean game over. Sometimes it could be a blessing in disguise. This is giving you the opportunity to work on things that you probably know you should be working on and probably the things that probably more than likely cause your injury in the first place. So thank you so much for checking out this video. If you haven't already and if we're on YouTube right now, press that big red subscribe buttons right there and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and if you have had a really bad injury and you found a way to train through it if you're an endurance runner and you decide to go for a swim and how that's changed your life so if you're an athlete or you're someone that's injured yourself badly and you found other ways to train around that injury then please let me know in the comments below I'll be happy I would kind of speak I would love to hear what you guys have done and how you guys worked around the injury in the meantime Thank you so much for watching my video and keep being strong, happy and healthy.